Let's look at final exam, question number eight. In Trigonometry Demystified, second edition, please refer to page 367. Final exam, question number eight. We're asked about this angle once again between the flagpole and the sun line. Here we have a flat field, a vertical flagpole on a sunny day, casts a shadow. The height is 20 meters, the shadow length is 48 meters, we've determined that the sun line length is 52 meters, and we have defined all six of the trigonometric functions in the first, uh, actually the questions two through seven, we have defined all of those functions in terms of ratios of the sides. Now, this question asks us what the arc tangent of that angle is. This is kind of a trick question because arc tangents are inverse trigonometric functions and they do not apply to angles. We did find out that the tangent of this angle theta is equal to the shadow length s divided by the pole height, h, which in this case would be 48 over 20, or 2.4 if you want to calculate it. However, we are asked about the arc tangent of theta. That is a trick question because there is no such thing. We may say the tangent of theta equals 2.4. What that means in terms of arc tangents, though, is that the arc tangent of 2.4 equals theta. Arc tangents are inverse functions that is an entirely different concept than talking about the inverse of a number or a ratio. An inverse function undoes what the function does. An entirely different concept. So, Correct answer to this question is E, none of the above.